Hello, Bain Farm fans. The silage chopper's out. We have the head on, you saw that? What is all the sheet metal doing right here? Well, hard to tell from this angle, but the spout is really high and the roof is not really high. And if we see in the distance, that wagon is missing its roof. So we could get the silage to go in the wagon instead of on top of the roof. Which we almost have this roof off. Looks like the last screw. Mm -hmm. We think it's loose. I'm gonna take the drill. I don't know if you're gonna try to push it off. It's gonna come off. Oh, that's no fun. The other roof came off as one big piece. Yeah, that roof just kind of slid off. I was hoping for a grand show of roofing metal to come flying down. But we left those pieces bolted together. Yeah, that was loud. You sure this piece on down on this side is still anchored? It didn't flip up. It just hooked down in. It turned, split it down in between. It's not screwed or anything. Oh. It's got to get flipped off that way. Or pulled up. We missed one. Uh, missed two. two. I mean, um, ooh, we gotta find that chunk of metal. The cows. You gotta find? Oh, yeah, there's still one. The other one is close enough to ripping through. So I gotta cut one. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Yes. This silage is from green shopping up here, but maybe we can see better from up here. When we're looking straight out, we can see the top of the cave on the spout. Look how high the spout is. That's still above the roof. And we looked at modifying the spout, making it shorter, or would do we take the roofs off? Cutting a bunch of bolts to take the roofs off are much easier now. I would like to keep the roofs on just to make it nice, the insides covered in case they sit outside and get rained on, all that fun stuff. Um, but it's hard to put ear corn in them when you have a roof in the way. Like maybe we're trying to get it in from the front, but that's not going to go well. I'm not going to be able to get it back. So now well, the tops will be open. We can drop the ear corn in from the top, which will be fantastic. And now we have a lot of extra used barn roofing. Um, we're gonna leave these arches on because they hold the sides of the wagon and I wish we had another arch for that wagon just because this one has two in the middle. So we might as well hold the sides together, right? Oh, time for the fun favorite tool. Yay, sparks. <laughs> smoldering a little. Perfect. Now we play monkey. Hopefully. I found another one. I keep multiplying. All these cap screws. Okay. Now we're 
are free. Did Shiloh come out with you? No. Okay. What? Just making sure he wasn't standing down over the side getting sliced by barn roofing. Well, that makes it a lot airier in here. Now, what else did we cut off? I don't know if we remember, but the chopper spout used to be that much longer. It also made it that much higher. That was our first attempt at getting in the wagons with the roof on. So making the spout shorter and because of the curve and arch, bring it down, right? Only a few inches. And with the spout, it was so long, it would hang down and we could shoot right behind the beater, straight down if we really wanted to. So I made it shorter. And then we gained the new function. The new function is the spout would turn. It's supposed to turn. We have a new motor, we made sure it worked. If I can reach in here. Now, sitting still here. There we go. Sitting still here, it's a little difficult. It works better when there's silage flow, you know, kind of lifting and pushing the spout up. Works, hey, the motor has more torque going one way than the other. We may look at adjusting this so it pulls more just in case there's too much weight um, making, causing a bind in here because there's about that much overlap of tube coming up from the blower before we get to the spout itself. But it's a great function. We couldn't get that to, well, that wouldn't turn before. And it's still a little rough in one direction but it's a whole lot better than it was. So maybe next year when we get started, there won't be as much. However, this thing is now gassing us out because of all the exhaust leaks. We'll straighten this out before we go back out to the field. Maybe we don't swing this too often. Just a little bit of adjustment. Okay, I keep swinging it the wrong way. Forward is right, and by right, that's if we're facing forward. Which is crazy that this works without the key on. Okay, we're set straight back, at least starting out for the field.